Contact tracing was considered a key tool during the start of the pandemic, but now state legislators are asking whether it was worth the effort in the first place. Arkansas health leaders say it was absolutely worth it, defending the state's tactics before auditors. Andrew Epperson tells us why they say contact tracing likely saved lives. Well, it's been a while, but we all remember contact tracing where someone would test positive for COVID-19, report that to the Department of Health, which would then notify anybody else who might have been close enough to catch it. We're now getting a better picture on how much that program cost and whether it benefited the state of Arkansas. Contact tracing. Contact tracing. Contact tracing. It's a phrase we heard every day when COVID-19 first got here. We follow up with the people that they likely exposed to the illness. This month, Arkansas Department of Health Director Dr. Jennifer Delahaye right. defending the state's contact tracing record before legislative audit. Did we find out that the contract tracing had any positive impact? Yes, sir. A report shows Arkansas spent nearly $100 million in federal funds for contact tracing and case investigation. The time period, summer 2020 to June of this year. When it was no longer feasible, we stopped the contact tracing and then we then later stopped the case investigation. Delahay says legislative oversight is necessary and she fielded tough questions. What was the bang for the buck here? How, how much did it cost per case to trace all these folks? Legislators focused on the money. And we have data showing that what we spent has positive outcomes, not what studies do, but what we spent. The deaths that were excess deaths were lower than they would have been. Delahay says looking back, she's pleased with the ADH's actions at the beginning of the pandemic and says hundreds if not thousands of lives were saved through early contact tracing and case investigation. Oh, I do think it was worthwhile. I asked Delahay whether she thinks contact tracing should have continued past January of this year when the department stopped doing it. She says she thinks the program ran its course, noting it served its purpose until vaccines were readily available. In Little Rock, Andrew back to you.